Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about how I grew my subscribers from zero to a thousand. And I got to tell you, my journey, I feel like has been a little bit different from, um, from what I would have expected, I guess. So I was able to grow my channel from zero to a thousand within a few months. But then I feel like once I hit the thousand mark, it started getting harder. It's almost like I plateaued a little bit and I really had to do more and invest a lot more time into my YouTube channel. So I would say that it took me about maybe to be fair, about two to four months to grow my YouTube channel to a thousand. And from there, I really had to get creative about what I wanted to post in my YouTube channel, how I wanted to go about it and things of that nature. So I thought I would share because it was a lot of work. It was already a lot of work and it just, the amount of work just did nothing but increase, right? So for those of you that might not know that, if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel or perhaps you've already started a YouTube channel, one thing about YouTube is that it is a completely different platform from anything else out there. And what I mean by that is that YouTube is its own thing. So much so that it's a little challenging, even if you're wanting to promote across different platforms, it's more challenging to promote your YouTube channel. It's helpful and useful and doable, but it doesn't translate as smoothly as maybe if you were to be promoting your TikTok account uh, via your Instagram or your Instagram account via your TikTok. So the, the dynamics between how well each platform relates to the other as far as promotions go or promoting your, pro your profile goes is different, right? So in this video, I thought it would be a good idea to share a little bit more with you, especially because I have hit the thousand mark subscribership and I'm it's growing but I feel like it's definitely not growing as quickly as when I first started and that's a little bit of a different take right so many people have a hard time with hitting the thousand subscribers mark in the first place and so it's just interesting when it's a little bit more of like the reverse I wanted to share the tips that worked for me in growing my subscriber base from zero to a thousand. And I definitely want to encourage you to start a YouTube channel. I think it's more than worth it. I still have a long way to go and a lot of work to do, but I want to share what I've learned so far on my journey. And I, and I think that sharing with others is not only good karma, but it's also so interesting. I, you know, I want to hear from all of you as well. Uh, especially as I grow my channel and as I continue on this journey. What I'm also going to do is I'm probably going to make one or two more separate videos about some of the biggest challenges that I've run into so far, because as I grow, I do want to leave kind of like a trail behind because anyone that is wanting to start a YouTube channel after the fact, it's going to be harder for me to try to then go back and say, okay, let me try to remember, you know, what I did or what happened back then versus if I make the videos in the moment, they're a lot realer, they're a lot more accurate, and they are going to be a lot more beneficial to the to, to the audience and to, to all of you. So the first thing that I've learned from YouTube and the first way that I think really, really helped grow my channel. And not only that, I think it's the most important thing that really, really helped grow my channel was 
studying. I know that sounds so weird and so backwards. You're like, studying? What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, studying. Like you literally have to study. You literally have to research your competition. Not only your competition, but just other YouTube content creators that have done that have done it. And you have to take notes, as many notes as possible on what they're doing that is working for them. And once you take notes, once you study them, then you have to take that and apply it to your channel. That is not easy to do. So as a new YouTube content creator, I can comfortably say that from my experience, most of my time goes into studying, literally studying, and not only just studying the competition, but also studying more about YouTube, how it works, how, like, how does the algorithm work? There's no concrete answer on that, but we kind of, there's information on some of the things that might work and some of the things that probably work for the algorithm. And not only that, making notes as I post to make sure that I'm learning more about the algorithm just based on my experiences, because you have to analyze every time that you post, you have to analyze different aspects. How quickly are you able to get views? How many views is a particular video getting? What is it like? What topic is it? Things like that. So it's super important. The studying is number one. I, you know, and I hate to call it, I mean, you could call it whatever you want. You can call it research. You can call it studying. You can call it, um, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But it all comes down to the same thing. If you want to be successful on YouTube, in my opinion, and from my experience, you have no choice but to putting, but to put in an incredible amount of hours researching and studying and just learning. And that alone is going to take several months. Um, it's going to take at least a few months of, of being really dedicated to that. The second thing that I'm finding that really helps my YouTube channel and really helped my YouTube channel grow is posting frequently. And when I say frequently, I don't mean two, three times a week. I currently post five to six times a week. And some days I'll post twice. And I sometimes post twice in one day is for research purposes primarily, right? And so it goes back to the number one and why I said, in my opinion, the number one is the most important because when you're a small YouTuber, it's the best and really the most important time for you because you're learning what it is that it takes to grow your channel, what type of topics, what type of videos, things like that. And it's going to be different for everyone, depending on your, your a lot of factors, including your personality. And this is where the therapist comes in as far as in the video. But depending on your personality and your interests and your motivations, you're likely to choose, um, you know, you could choose media coverage as the topic for your channel. And you could choose, you know, playing instruments as the topic of your channel. So it all depends on what your interests are. So that is going to vary for the most part what you choose. One thing that I've learned so far is that I have to post as frequently as possible. And what I thought was frequent, I thought, you know, oh, okay, I'll just post like, twice a week and that's frequent. It's just, in my opinion, not good enough if you're wanting to grow your YouTube channel in a reasonable time frame. Um, so I literally post every single day. And again, that's just because I'm a small YouTuber, very, very small, right? Very, very small following. So that's the reason why I post twice a day because I'm wanting to get as much information as possible. So I'm not really posting that second video because, uh, you know, I just want to have so many videos out there. I post the second video most of the time, for example, if I'm comparing one video to another and maybe it's like similar topics, similar types of videos, but I, I delivered it in two different ways. The delivery that I used was different and I want to kind of see as far as which garners more engagement versus another, things like that. I'll 
post two videos in the same day. I don't do that for, I don't do that every day, but I do do that. Next, you want to make sure that you are focused on thumbnails. My in my opinion, I'm definitely still working on this. As I go along, I'm finding what's what I like best and what works best for me. But I feel like a lot. If you go back and look at some of my previous videos, I feel like my thumbnails really suck. So this is a a weaker point for me is the thumbnails. I don't know why, but I think I'm getting better at it. I hope I'm getting better at it because it's so essential. It's the first thing that people see, uh, and it's really basically it's it's the sales part of your youtube channel so if you want people to click on your channel you have to have a good thumbnail and more importantly you have to have a good title to go with the thumb, thumb, thumbnail and when you ha if you have a good title you also want to make sure that it relates to what you're talking about so uh people don't click on it and say hey like this is not what you promised essentially but it has to be an engaging title, something that lets the audience know, like, hey, this is what we'll be talking about, and it's super interesting. So that's another thing that is really, really even more important for growing YouTubers is timing. So when I say timing, it is essential to have good timing in connection to the YouTube videos and the YouTube topics that you're putting out. I have found that those videos are typically the videos that do the best on my channel. I feel like I missed out on a great opportunity to post during the COVID because I was still at an eight to five job. Don't know what I was doing at an eight to five job. I have since then transitioned and I no longer do eight to five because I don't have to, which is great. So I have more time to do what I enjoy doing, things such as YouTube. But one of the things that is super important is posting relevant content. If you post relevant content and your content directly connects with people in the right time, then you will see more growth on your channel, whether that's just with views or subscribers as well. Next, this is super important. And this is something that's especially important to me. I like to post things that are going to be useful, content that's going to be useful to my audience and my potential audience. And I find that this works really well. And the way YouTube works from what I've seen is it's not, it's not unless you really hit the jackpot with your videos, it's not going to be a thing where you post your videos and overnight you have 10,000 viewers, right? It happens, but again, you'd have to hit the jackpot with your video. So it's not what you want to come to expect. You want to maybe hope for that, but you don't want to expect that that is the norm or that will happen. Um, so with that being said, you want to choose content and make content that's going to be helpful for the viewers and not only just helpful for the viewers, but it's also going to be entertaining. So you want to combine those two things. I think when you combine those two things, entertainment and also being helpful or informative, it could be just giving information out, it, you know, the news, whatever the case may be, matched with the entertainment factor, that makes for a very, very, very powerful video and very powerful content. Lastly, editing. Editing is a pain in the butt for most, if not all, YouTubers. So what I would recommend with editing is do it as often as you can. Editing is one of those things that the more you do it, the more comfortable you get at doing it and the quicker it gets. There is no secret to that. I always get questions. Do you have any tips as far as editing goes? No. Well, my biggest tip for that would be keep, keep doing it. I, it used to take me four at least took me hours and hours and hours just to edit one video when I first started on YouTube because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I taught myself how to edit from scratch, from scratch. So that would be my advice is to teach yourself how to edit and do it as much as possible because the more you do it, the quicker it becomes, the more you gravitate towards things that you already know that you like your style, basically, your editing style. So it makes it a lot quicker for you. So that would be definitely my number one advice. Those are my top tips for 
growing your YouTube channel and your YouTube subscription from zero to a thousand. Keep up the good fight. I know it's super hard. YouTube is one of those things that, man, it's tough. But once you get there, it's so, so rewarding and so, so worth it. I'm not there yet. I'm still working on it. I'm going to make another video also on how to get monetized because my channel is finally monetized. It was actually monetized about uh, two to three years ago. But I started making videos and then I stopped for two to two and a half years, which was my mistake. I should have never done that. But I was working again. I was working eight to five and I couldn't keep up with with that, with both because eight to five doesn't mean eight to five. I would go into work and I wouldn't come home till the evening time. And now I don't have to do that anymore. So, you know, I can focus more on my YouTube venture. Uh, but definitely those would be my top tips. But if you find this, if you found this video at all helpful or informative, go ahead and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and join the Mayday family. I love making these type of content videos. If there's anything else that you're wondering about, please tell me because I'm always, always looking for new ideas and new things that I can post on my YouTube that will be interesting to you as the viewer. All right. Thanks for joining. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.